So this couple have been together for 11 years, married, everything. And she just exposed herself. He got a little glimpse of her messaging another guy, which she claims is a guy friend, which we all know is bull****. So of course he confronts her and says, let me see your phone. And she refuses and it all goes down. Kind of suspicious. You can call your sister. I'm not going to harm you. I'm not going to hurt. I'm not going to put my hands on you. I don't feel comfortable. I'm not going to put my hands on you. I, you can call your sister. I tell you, I'm, I don't feel comfortable. I need to go. You can stay. You want, I thought you wanted to walk the dogs together. You can record whatever it is that you want to record. I'm going to walk my dogs with You're me walking both the dogs. And talk to my sister and tell her how uncomfortable I feel right now. She's going to go to bed. It's well past her bedtime and I hope she picks up. How are you going to... Like, I, I cannot. I cannot. I've, I've, you've known me for 11 years. I would never put my hands on you. I don't believe you. What? That's mine. Those are mine. Those aren't yours. I'm asking just to see you're a text asking. message. Yes, I am. You're, you're, no, and you're getting not. really nervous and fidgety. I'm not getting nervous. I'm feeling very fucking uncomfortable. Why are you feeling uncomfortable? I if, if you asked me, I would like, yeah, you could look because I have nothing to hide. You're, you're you have some, so you have something to hide. You have not actually done that what ever are, in your past. What is it you're hiding? I'm not hiding a Then just hold your phone and let me see what you wrote. I am not hiding anything. Then, then hold your I phone am. and let me see what you wrote. Okay, I'm going to go. Liam, let's go right now. I can't. I made her cry. Yeah, because you're you're cornered. I'm cornered. Yes, you because you're because you're doing something that's wrong. That's I'm why. If, if you, then that's let wrong. me see. Hold your phone and let me see if you're not doing anything wrong. Doing a fucking thing that's wrong, and the fact that you're, I can't. Because I saw the text messages that I read that you wrote was someone that's a little bit thirsty on your end. Again. It's kind of like. Thirsty. Yeah, on your end. I think we can agree we're not really surprised by a reaction. She got caught, she's trying to victimize herself and turn it on him. And they've been together 11 years and even he said, you know I wouldn't put my hands on you, where's this come from? And she's still not giving up the phone. If you're loyal and you're being questioned, the first thing you want to do is clear it up. And she's not doing that, my friend. And yeah, the typical, I'm scared of you, I feel threatened. We've seen this a million times before, fellas. Which again, makes no sense, and she's just manipulating him. And yeah, she came up with a good escape plan, go and walk the dogs, go and call your sister, she's gonna go and delete that evidence. And we've seen this all the time, where women get checked for certain things, like this woman for cheating, and then they'll say, my boyfriend is threatening me, he's cornering me, he's gonna beat me. What can I say? 11 years down the drain. And the man in the video actually made an update video, so let's give that a watch. So I wanted to give an update and also a background on the video you saw of me asking my wife if I could see text messages between a friend, a guy who says a friend, just friends. We, they go on hikes together with the dogs. And I said, okay, can we see text messages? So she walks out the door, as you saw, to call her sister. And I sit and wait. She comes back, cries to her sister about whatever, has her sister on speaker saying, my sister wants to speak to you. Her sister says, you need to leave. I just flew five and a half hours across the country into another country to visit my wife and spend time with her. And we were supposed to go on a road trip. And now she doesn't feel safe with me after we've been together, 11 years together, seven years married. Asking a simple question, can I see the text messages between this friend of yours? No longer feels safe around me when I've never, ever hit her, raised the hand to her, grabbed her, anything ever in our relationship. Now she doesn't feel safe. She wants me to leave. I'm in a different country. I don't know anyone. I don't have any friends. And she says, go back. I'm completely crushed. Completely. My heart is completely crushed. You got a feel for this guy. Of course the sister's involved and she's going to take her side. So the sister is just as dumb as she is. Can you imagine being with someone for 11 years, 7 years married? You fly across the country, you turn up, she's acting suspicious, messaging a guy friend and she tells you to leave. And all of a sudden she's saying she feels unsafe. You're threatening her, cornering her. You're going to beat her. She couldn't make it any more clear that she is cheating 
Why the hell is she going on hikes with another man? That's a red flag. But let's continue on with the video. So, I left. I respected her wishes. I didn't want any. I didn't want to get arrested or have anything because she's saying she doesn't feel feel safe around me. I'm like, okay, so I left. I she booked a hotel. I stayed, and I found my way back to the states. I am with my family because I just can't be alone right now after someone just completely disrespected me. My wife completely disrespected me after all these years. And I'm, I'm, my heart is, is shattered. And um, yeah, I, I, how could, how could you kick someone out of your house after they, they you fly five and a half hours to a different country? I don't understand how you can do that to someone, your husband, let alone. I would never in a million years do that to my wife. If she asked me about something and I say, no, you have to go. I don't feel safe. You're asking me this question. You have to go. I'm devastated, man. But I recorded it because I just needed evidence that I wasn't crazy, that her reaction was like, and I posted it just so that I can get others to see like, I wasn't asking a lot and I'm not crazy like what's happening. I don't get it. Well, I do get it, she was lying, but it's just how, how you can do that to someone, how you can completely disrespect someone like that. When I've never, yeah, it's just. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Thank you guys for watching the video, but I just wanted to give you guys an update and background on what actually happened. And now I'm back in the States and uh, yeah, trying to pick up the pieces because I'm completely crushed. What a horrible situation this man is in. 11 years down the drain because she's out there wilding and acting like a 304. That's a cold hearted woman right there. The man she was with for that long, he flew across the country and she was just like, nah, I got some other willy now. Get yourself back home. And she hasn't even got the respect to just say what she's doing. And she's tarnishing his name in the process. And he knew this wasn't going to go his way, even though he's done nothing wrong. So he just got the hell out of there. He didn't want to get arrested because that's how it is. She can easily run to the police and say, he's doing this and this and this. The police will be at his door with handcuffs ready to get his ass down the station. And I wonder if this new man who she's going on hikes with knows about this whole situation. I doubt it. But because this video went viral, I hope he has seen it. And she kicks her out to the streets where she belongs. She belongs to the streets.